Chris, what in the hell is going on with Urban Meyer? <laughs> Man, you know, I, so I, I rip on this guy a lot, right? Like, I've been real hard on him. I'm not an Urban Meyer fan. I don't like him. I, um, I thought his apology is the most honest he may have ever been, ever, in public. I think he's one of the fakest people I've ever seen. That actually looked genuine. It looked like a man that was in pain. And I'm going to tell you, I kind of understand just, you know what? Life sucks right now. Fuck all of this. I'm going out. I'm getting shitty. And, and I'm having a good time. And these girls start grinding up on me. And you know what? God damn it, I'm going to like it. Okay? Because life sucks right now. And that's it. So, like, does life suck for him compared to people who work three jobs and, and only see their kids every other month? Like, no, no, he, he's living an unbelievable life, but for the life that he is used to, for what has come in his world is something that he has never expected or encountered. And he's having a tough time dealing with it. He blew off some steam and by doing so hurt no one, but maybe his wife. Yeah. The, the fact that people are so worried about this uh, impacting the team impacting uh, his, the fact his that he job. Had to apologize to the team. Son of a bitch. Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> apologize to a ridiculous. bunch of grown men. Gary, you and I work together. Okay. We're partners in this thing. All right. And if, and if you went out and you had some young gal grind it all up on your way, that is between you, her and your wife. You don't owe me a damn apology ever, nor it, anybody else, by the way. Let's, let's look at it from the team perspective. If anybody on that team got caught doing this, do you think they would ever have to address it with the team? I, I don't. No. I don't think so. No. What What you worry about is guys getting in trouble. What you worry about is fights. What you worry about is things that are you know trouble with the law, that, that type of stuff. But but dancing with some girls? Are you kidding me? It's it's insane. ridiculous. It's uh, the whole thing is it, nuts. It's literally the lo- the most likable I've ever seen Urban be is in that apology. I felt I, I genuinely felt bad for him because you know this might be the first time this man's ever felt remorse. Because I kind of <laughs> think he's like a like a kind of a piece of shit guy, right? Yeah. I but maybe he's not a complete sociopath because he looked like a man who 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 needed a little forgiveness. And I'm a guy who needs forgiveness all the damn time. Okay. I do. I look at it and, like this, right? Hey, let me, so let me I interrupt. You. I, I, yeah, I look at it as this guy, like you said, went out to blow off a little steam. Things are not going well, et cetera. But I, I don't believe that this was something that. And so all the people this weekend that have talked about, oh, is he doing it on purpose so that he can take the USC job? He really wants out of there. Da, da, da. I don't believe that's it. I don't think he did this on purpose. I think this was, like you said, a guy that was going out and blowing off steam. Does this mean that he won't be the Jacksonville coach for long? I don't know. The The comments that came out from Shad Khan, the owner of the Jaguars, were very interesting where he was talking about, you know, he's going to have to earn our respect and earn our trust after this. This is completely inexcusable. That it, It's like, no, it's not inexcusable. This is stupid. If he was 4-0 instead of 0-4, he wouldn't have to earn shit. Exactly. He wouldn't have to earn a damn thing, Gary. No, he wouldn't he even have to, to earn their res- He has to... He has to earn their respect because he's losing, all right? And that's what he needs to get some respect on his name for. That's right? they, he they needs, finally He needs to win a football game. Yeah, they finally had a good game. They lost at the Bengals, but I don't think that's anything to, to scoff at right now. The Bengals are beating a lot of teams. So, well, now, hang on. I think they played the Cardinals pretty damn well. But th- that's just a team that's a bust all right now. Yes. But, man, I mean, they were in that game, too, until the very end. And yes. that's a team that's far more talented than they are. So not that in the NFL you ever get moral victories, but but man, what are we talking about? That was a good game up until the fourth quarter. And we knew that this was a rebuilding effort in Jacksonville. Like we expect, almost expected when four out the gate. You got a rookie quarterback. Your, your other first rounder got hurt in the preseason. Like <laughs> what are we looking at? Like this, this roster is awful. I, I just yes. I don't know what this the expectations com- this are. It's a complete rebuild. They do have a transcendent young quarterback. We believe. We believe they have very, very, very little talent at, at the skill positions, and uh, and that, that's not to say the guys that they have aren't great. 
they're not great. They're good. And none of them, they don't have enough of them to have depth anywhere. Right. Correct. Can't deal with injuries. Can't deal with all that. So, yeah, this Urban Meyer stuff is, is very strange. I don't believe in any way is Urban trying to self-sabotage. Now, he, he could be doing it uh, subconsciously, but I, I would never no, imagine that this... I just, I, just think, no, I just think he's trying to blow off some steam. This is a guy that he's... That night, he was not thinking about next year or next, you know, the six months. Hell, he wasn't even thinking the next five minutes. He just no. thought, you know what? I need a drink right now. I just went out with my family. I'm sending them away, and I'm, I'm blowing off some steam. Well, and That's a big, big part of this, he stayed in Ohio after that game against Cincinnati. I would imagine to just get away for a little bit. Go somewhere where everybody likes you. Right, <laughs> like yeah. When when you're yeah, in Ohio, he, you're think, a guy. I'm gonna say this: there's a reason he was wearing his Ohio State hoodie or pull up, pullover and not his uh, Jaguars pullover. Yes, there's a reason that I think he went out wearing the Ohio State gear. Yes, it's because this makes me feel good. This is when I was a king. This is when I was a god. And he just wants to feel like that for a minute. This is a guy. I, I, let me be clear: I don't like this guy. I haven't. And, and it's not because I'm an asshole. I am. But it's, it's because I he, I don't find him genuine at all. I do believe the apology that he gave, I didn't think it was necessary. But I, I thought that was the most honest I've ever seen Urban. Like I told you before, if Urban gave me my address, just told it to me and said, this is where you live. I, I think I would hit every house in my neighborhood before I got there because I just can't believe he's telling the truth. Okay, just yeah. the man's a liar. The other day, yesterday, I guess Monday, he I just found him to be genuine and and honest for the first time ever. Yes, yes, I, I tend to agree with you. No context, college football. By the way, on Twitter, put out a picture from a couple of years ago when he was working at Fox Sports, and it was a just a screenshot that said criteria to examine for struggling teams according to Urban Meyer. Number one was trust issues. Number two was dysfunctional environment. Number three was selfishness. I thought that was rather comical, but also uh, I, I don't really look at this situation as as anything crazy. Like <laughs> I don't know what we're doing here. So uh, we'll we'll move off of that. We have spent long enough on Urban Meyer for today's show. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.